Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I will talk about the shifts of the notes that will happen on the 23rd of December 2021 and uh, I'm going to explain it for each and every single sign. So I'm going to start a little bit with what are the notes and what does it mean uh, that the notes are shifting in the axis of the south node in Scorpio and the north node in Taurus. So we had this shift for a long time in Sagittarius and uh, the north node we had in Gemini. And this had a lot to do with studying, information, obtaining new information, um, you know, doing research. Uh, maybe you, you know, you took on a new course, a new study. So what is happening right now is that we're shifting from the South Node, which is have to do with everything past related past lives past in your current life and the north node is where you're shifting to okay so this is your destiny your purpose and when it is transiting because when you look at your birth chart this is your overall life destiny okay so the south node indicates what you're already really good at and the north node indicates your curiosity and you know where you're gonna go next so you know the opposite signs are very often similar but different right this is why they are good when it comes to relationships like one cannot live without the other so when we had Sagittarius is the sign of teaching Gemini can also be the sign of teaching Sagittarius is higher knowledge Gemini is smaller knowledge uh, or detailed it's not smaller it's detailed and it's more factual whereas Sagittarius is like I want to know the truth I want to read about a lot of things and I want to tell you from my own experience what is best and Gemini is like this is the fact I've done research and these are the numbers and this is what it means right so it's more factual based uh, like a journalist telling a story um, like you did an interview with someone and you're writing down the exact words of that person that would be Gemini okay so when we go to Scorpio as a south node you know Scorpio rules the eighth house and the eighth house is all about um, depths death sex intimacy the occult everything taboo hidden and a little bit darker right this is where your shadow side is so when we have transits right this means that for a period of time your focus is on exploring a certain destiny so every time a planet is going to touch this north node or the south node there will be some shifts happening that will make you pay off debts from past life or that will stimulate you to explore new territories or maybe there will be some divinely guided situations that will lead you to where you need to be in life so scorpio is more about the spiritual side the extreme emotions feeling very deeply and then we have Taurus and Taurus is like I've been there I know it and I'm gonna use this knowledge to the North Node uh, become more stable so you know when you think about life sometimes you need to go through extremes to stabilize and this is the south node in Scorpio and the north node in um, Taurus and Taurus is all about money 
it's about luxury so you know as maybe in the past uh, you have focused more on you know other people's money and now you're gonna find out ways to stabilize and make your own money for example Taurus also has to do with your self-worth right it rules the second house and Venus so this is all about your self-worth you're gonna explore things that make you love yourself you're gonna explore things that you like doing in life and that could potentially uh, make you earn more money right so it depends on which house is your north node and um, what are your natal planets but of course this is a general reading so see what resonates you can always book a private reading with me and you find my email in the description box below okay and we can talk privately and we can see what is next in your life when it comes to you know maybe the transits your north node and all that stuff okay so um it's definitely about stabilizing a certain area of your life and making more money in a certain area of your life or start loving that part of your life again okay so i am ready to start with the signs i hope you are as well so let's start with aries okay so for you aries uh taurus is in your second house so it is at home here and it opposes the south node in the eighth house in scorpio so you are finding ways you know maybe if you are in a relationship and there were times you had to depend on someone else you're really finding ways to make money yourself right this is one option it could also be that you are using your strengths of the occult right um to make money or you know maybe you're watching astrology videos and you're like okay this date is going to be the best date for me to launch my business so the help of the eighth house is going to help you make more money or you're removing energetic blocks when it comes to making money maybe you're focusing now on you know manifestations what is stopping me from making the money that i deserve and you know you're starting to do affirmations for example to make you feel better so you're really gonna dive into the depths of your shadow work and you know you're gonna come so far that you know you're gonna remove a lot of thoughts and patterns that you had towards making money so you're gonna be more self-confident you're gonna be more forwarding you're like i'm gonna do this i really truly believe in myself so I really like this for you Aries. so it's gonna be a really exciting time and um, yeah this is what it's gonna be so that's for you Taurus uh, Aries sorry <laughs> nor note in Taurus but that is it for you Aries. if you like this video you know subscribe to my channel I have many more videos horoscopes astrology meditations um, and I would love, love to see you again. Thank you so much. Let's move on the to the next sign, Taurus. So Taurus, we have the North Node in your own house, okay? So um, it's gonna be a lot about individuality, right? So maybe some extremes that are happening in your relationship, if you're in a relationship, in your business partnership or one-to-one -one with people, make you realize that it is time to focus more on yourself what do i love about me <laughs> how can i make money by being myself by being the person that i'm supposed to be so you're gonna focus about uh, on self-love about treating yourself you're gonna buy yourself new stuff like some of you are gonna create a whole new identity maybe you're like i want a different hair color i want to look different this is you know more matching with how i feel at this time right like you know in the past i had white blonde hair 
longer, much longer, right? And there came a time in my life where I was like, I'm gonna cut my hair short and I'm gonna bring back my own hair color. And this is gonna be your mood. You're gonna be like, I'm going into this new period in my life. This is gonna be um, planting seeds for a new destiny. And for that, you need to focus a little bit more on you. So, you know, by understanding your partner, the South Node, you know, who may or may not be a Scorpio, okay? Mm, by understanding your partner, you're gonna reflect or self-reflect and understand where you're going next. So, you know, it could be, this could potentially lead to a breakup, okay? Or you're finding new ways together how to become more whole, how to become more individualistic, okay? So it's more about the focus on you, who you are in a relationship, who you are with other people, how you behave in a business partnership. And you're gonna be less afraid to come forward with the needs that you have. So yeah, this is really excited. And um, yeah, it's a lot about self-love and whatever it is that you have to do, Taurus, it's gonna be for a better purpose. It's gonna be for the next step in your life and it's gonna be amazing, right? So you're gonna work on many ways to change your identity, to make more money, to lead that luxurious life that you want. And uh, this is my message for you. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a message below. I also do private reading, so you can send me an email that you find in the description box below, okay? And I hope to see you next time again. Bye bye, Taurus. Let's move on to the next sign, Gemini. So for you, Gemini, we have uh, the North Node in Taurus in your 12th house, okay? And the South Node is in the opposite house, in the sixth house. So it could mean that, you know, sixth house has to do with your health, your work, okay, your routines, your pets. However, some situations in your life will be created for you to take more rest, okay? It could be that the last few years you've been very restless and the universe is telling you, okay, Gemini, <laughs> take a break take it easy you've been working so hard you had so much stress at work you've been doing so much and the universe is really telling you to slow down slow and calm down okay so you might start a meditation course you might spend more time alone okay you're like okay work is quite crazy but i need my time alone right uh 12th house has to do with dreams so you might have very vivid dreams uh maybe you're dreaming about a luxurious life so you're starting to manifest the life that you want so you need this time by yourself to kind of reinvent where you want to go next it's like planning behind the scenes what is it that you actually want taurus to have stability right so you know you are gonna really need time alone to understand yourself better and to bring it to the next level, right? And in some extreme forms, it also means a prison and a hospital. So you might get a job. So don't worry, you're not going to any of those things. Um, it might mean you get a job in a prison or a job in a hospital or any institution, okay? Um, but this is very specific, so I like to take it a little bit more global. The sixth house has to do with your health. So you might start doing healings. You might start to get a checkup from the doctor and doctor says, hey, your blood, your blood pressure is too high. You need to take it slow, okay? So um, this is really what is the subject for the upcoming times for you, Gemini. Um, yeah, this is my message for you. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment below how this resonates with you. And also I do private readings, so you can send me an email that you find in the description box below. Okay, Gemini, I really, really hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. So Cancer, for you, we have 
um, nerd note in your 11th house, okay? So you're really all about finding stability within your friendships, within your community, right? So maybe you're like really wanting to be surrounded by people that are high quality, right? Because Taurus is all about quality. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just had a someone to fix my door so I was in the middle of my video and <laughs> the doorbell rang so yeah I was talking about cancer and you know nor note in the 11th house that most of you were are going to look for people that you know quality above quantity and also you want to look for communities of people that are very fixed on their goals uh you know that like to enjoy life because taurus is also about the find finer things in life right so it's about um eating well so going for really nice dinners it is about focusing on what matters and you know when taurus has a goal in mind it's really fixated on that goal so you might wanna you know you are surrounding yourself by people that are really goal oriented and you know people that you can really learn from and when we have the south node in the fifth house um this really means that from your experience of creativity and depth within yourself so you know knowing the inner shadow part of yourself uh, that you have learned through your creativity by this understanding of your own self-expression you can really relate better to other people right it's like you have been focusing a lot on you as a person in your spare time a lot of you cancers like to read uh you know watch uh detective movies maybe you're really into you know the occult in your spare time you have a tarot deck and you're really like trying to get to know yourself on that level right with scorpio in the fifth house it has to do with self-expression it has to do with your spare time so you like to do scorpionic things in your spare time right and with this knowledge that you have learned you are gonna find the right people around you so this is your focus when the north node in taurus is in your 11th house um, right it's communities uh, maybe you're gonna do some type of course a money course manifesting money course a cooking class with people because Taurus is related to uh, food to really you know like fine wines good food so maybe you're gonna do a course in that um art there it's very artistic sign it's ruled by venus so you might take an art class uh but this is going to be like a bigger like with a community so you might be in a, some kind of community that is creating art or cooking or anything that you're really interested in that is very creative or is helping you to make more money maybe you're going to do this course into how to make more money manifest money uh, you're gonna learn how to do cryptocurrency maybe uh, like forex trading or how just how to earn more money in general um, and this is going to be in a kind of a group situation so this is what you most likely will focus on with the north node in the 11th house um, so yeah this is my message for you cancer if you like this video subscribe to my channel leave a comment below how this resonated with you and also I do private readings, so I would be happy to help you discover more about yourself. You'll find my email and the details in the description box below. So let's move on to the next sign, Leo. So Leo, what we have for you is that the North Node is shifting into your 10th house. And this is a placement that's gonna make you really happy because this is the public house. This is you um showing yourself to the public by for example starting a youtube channel or starting with uh something like acting 
uh, you know, Taurus rules art. Maybe you want to show the world the art that you've been making, right? And art can be many things, can be paintings, can be something creative. Maybe you're making documentaries, right? So with Taurus here in your midheaven, you are going to be super seen. People really find you very beautiful, right? They're going to be like, wow, Leos, I don't know what you've been doing, but you're just more seen in general. And people really are kind of looking up to you during this period. Uh, they want to know what you're doing differently. It's just that you're shining more. And, you know, I love that Taurus is ruled by Venus. So this is going to give you some extra charm. And this is how you could get, for example, a promotion in your job. You might, might start becoming self-employed, right? A lot of you Leos, a lot of you Leos, all of you Leos have Uranus um, in the 10th house as well. So, you know, a lot of social media, online business, um, you know, some of you have been shifting into different jobs, but it's gonna, you're gonna climb up, right? You're gonna take the next step and it's gonna be amazing. I really love that for you. And, you know, with um, the North Node in the 10th house, we have the South Node in your fourth house. So it could be, you know, with Scorpio, things are difficult. Things are a little bit... Uh, so there might be some things in your family situation, right? That are a bit uncomfortable, but they make you working harder towards your goals, right? Sometimes when we don't feel so comfortable at home, you're gonna wanna achieve different things. Or maybe you wanna show your family what you're actually capable of. Maybe they told you you couldn't do it and you're like, hey, who couldn't do it? I can do this. So you're just gonna take the next step, right? So, yeah, with Scorpio there, there might be some jealousy in the family, uh, maybe because you are achieving a lot. Also, there is part of you that, you know, you need to do some shadow work to find the stability within yourself. And this stability will help you in this uh, transition of your job. So you're going to have to deal with some kind of shadowy side of yourself that maybe comes also from the family, right? Um, some of you are moving for a job, so it could be in the upcoming time that you will move and it could be that, you know, you've got a new job in a new place and you have to move for it and you don't really want to, but this is your dream job, so I'm just going to do it. Um, yeah, so this, uh, these are the possibilities that could happen in these shifts, right, of the notes on the 23rd of December. So this is going to be a very, very interesting time i would say a very good time you're gonna really stabilize your job you're gonna find stability you're probably gonna go up in salary or money a lot with venus there um you know so do really focus on this aspect of being more seen and putting self-worth on your job i believe i can make more money I deserve that, okay? So you really have to believe you deserve more money and it will be brought easier to do, to you, okay? Because you're more charming and with the self-worth saying, I can do this, I deserve this, you will get what you want. So I would really recommend that for you, Leo. So yeah, this is my message for you. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. I'm making many more videos. And, you know, if you want me to help you explore your journey in this lifetime or find out your blockages, you can also book a private reading with me and you find my email in the description box below, okay? So let's move on to the next sign, Virgo. So Virgo, what we have for you is that the North Nodes are shifting in your ninth and your third house. So the North Node is going to be in your ninth house. So you're going to have a lot of focus on finding stability because it's a little bit contradictory, right? Because ninth house is all about higher knowledge. It's all about connecting. But at the same time, you want it to be practical, right? So you need to have something practical that make you understand more about the universe. So, you know, you could understand more about the universe through creative expression. 
Um, some of you are starting uh, a new language, learning a new language. Uh, you could do like a yoga course. You could really dive deeper into everything related, uh, manifestations, universal things, but uh, you want to see success stories, right? So it's like you want to have a goal setting. I want to be here by then and I want to have this by that. So you want it to show you something. This also indicates far away travels, right? So when we talk about Taurus, we're talking about greenery, we're talking about landscapes, right? We're talking about a place where there's a lot of, a very earthy place that will help you understand yourself better. So being in nature is gonna give you a lot of answers when it comes to the higher knowledge. And you know, when we have the South Node, we have Scorpio there. And Scorpio wants to know the truth about the truth about the truth, right? So you do want to have a lot of factual information. So you're going to do a lot of research in different areas of your life. And, you know, your suspicious nature is going to find stability in maybe not knowing everything, right? And uh, third house is also your siblings. So you had maybe some problems with your siblings and you're really ready to uh, solve these situations. Like, hey, I wasn't all that good either. So you might have a certain agreement. Uh, it's all about communication and teaching. So you might be studying something that you really want to teach, uh, upgrade your knowledge in a certain level. Uh, yeah, like I said, traveling, you might be doing a retreat to really understand yourself better. Um, but you want to have like there's something that you want to teach for some of you and you need to do uh you need to obtain certain knowledge or you already built this knowledge and you're starting to teach in a certain area of your life or adding something okay so um it could be that some of you starting a new you know you're believing in a new religion or a movement or you're finding your group that has you know you're like oh wow i'm really into this type of religion or spiritual movement and you're gonna like get to know more about it and combining the science with the spiritual stuff and yeah this will help you a lot understanding yourself better you might be in a mix of more cultural situations like um, you might mix up with people from different cultures uh, you might become a documentary maker, a writer, right? So there's many ways how you can mm, do this, but you're going to find your self-worth through knowing more about what is out there and, you know, uh, teaching and philosophy and art. So this is going to connect you to your higher self. So this is my message for you, Virgo. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. And also I do private reading. So if you want more details about it, you can send me an email that you find in the description box below. Thank you so much, Virgo. I really, really appreciate you. And let's move on to the sign of Libra. And for you, it's going to be in the opposite sign of your fellow sign Aries, right? So it's going to be the North Node in the eighth house. And the second house is gonna be your South Node in Scorpio. So this has to do with money, okay? But uh, your South Node is in uh, the second house, which is usually ruled, uh, rules your eighth house. So it's gonna be a combination of other people's money and your own money and you know a lot of you will want to manifest money or you're manifesting yourself uh, a rich partner or someone that wants to invest in your company like some of you are looking for some kind of investment or support to to pursue your dreams um, it could be that some of you are wanting to do something with the occult okay so you want to um, become a counselor or go to a counselor and you want to really start healing yourself and knowing where to heal yourself in order to find your own self-worth which in exchange will give you more money so you're really focused on what is blocking money in my life 
um, you know, if you have some debts, you're gonna really find ways to solve it. So if you have problems in the court system or with the government, this is the time where you're gonna focus on that and become better at it, right? So there might be a situation where you're being tested, like, hey, did you, you know, how do you solve this? And um, how, how are you gonna go to the next step? Because actually, um, Gemini for me is in my eighth house and I can tell you my personal story. What happened is that I had to learn how to do my administration, how to keep up with that because I'm self-employed and, you know, uh, I'm really bad at keeping up with the papers. So um, I really had to learn how to do that and how to deal with that practical stuff. And also I, I learned a lot about intimacy. So how am I intimate to myself, right? And it is in a different sign, but Taurus is all about sensuality. So you're gonna learn about uh, your sensual self and how to um, come forward with that again and how to appreciate the, the depths of your soul, right? So eighth house really is related to souls. Sorry, I have to take some water because it's a long talk. <laughs> so the depth of your soul and it's about you want to be with the soulmate. So you're really craving to be in your soul family, your soul tribe and people where you just really feel at home with, right? So you're starting to remove the shadow side for some of you uh, in order to meet your soulmate, okay? And... Um, it's really about soul searching. Money, taxes, government, court, okay? Learning how to deal with these kind of papers, learning how to uh, red tape, I think it's called. Yeah, dealing with your red tape, administration, uh, finding investors, learning how to deal with uh, money, also other people's money. So there could be like an inheritance coming in. And then still you have to deal with the government and, you know, paying taxes and these kind of things. So, you know, there could be unexpected money coming in because we also have Uranus uh, in Taurus, right? So it's all about unexpected things happening. Uh, but this is definitely the focus uh, for the upcoming one and a half years, so to speak. So yeah, this is my message for you, Libra. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. And if you want to know more about your personal chart, you can send me an email that you find in the description box below. Thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you next time, Libra. Let's move on to the next sign, Scorpio. So Scorpio, we have the South Node in your own sign and the North Node in your seventh house. So for you, it's all about um, actually the other person. So you're really focusing on being in a relationship, being with a business partner. And, you know, it's about you, South Node, learning how to be an individual, but also listening to the other person, right? So some of you might be in a relationship in the upcoming two years if you're single. <clears throat> you have a big chance of meeting someone. Uh, it could also be that um, you are with a business partner, but it's all about one-to-one -one relationships with other people and, you know, being you as a whole, but also how to be loving and romantic with someone else because Taurus rules Venus or maybe you're in a business partnership where you're creating art or you're doing something artistic. But Taurus is also stability. So how to be in a stable relationship, okay? Because Scorpio is about intensity. It's about feeling. It's about, you know, being very intense with someone. And Taurus is more about how can we be practical? How can we be stable? It's both very loyal signs when they're in love, right? Uh, when they're not in love, it's a different story. But when Scorpio is in love, when you are in love, um, you want to give your whole life for this person because you really, really absolutely adore them. Okay. But you also right now got to learn how to find this stability and not go into the peaks of ups and downs. 
so <laughs> that you don't fall so hard, you know, like giving yourself away to someone. So it's about sound now, learning how to be this identity with someone else. Um, so there will be some tests for some of you that are single, like, okay, how much of yourself you're going to give to another person. Okay. So this is for you, Scorpio. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below because I make so many more videos about horoscopes, uh, pick up cards, spiritual, whatever it is that you want to hear. I'm here to help you grow spiritually. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next sign now, um, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius for you, the North node is going to be in your sixth house. So this is all about your routines, your health, right? And it's opposing the 12th house and this is where your Scorpio is. So a lot of you uh, Sagittarius, you know, you have very vivid dreams. You're dreaming a lot. And actually a lot of these dreams can give you prophecies or can help you with your day-to-day -day life. But now it's time to focus on a stable life when it comes to routine. So you're going to focus on waking up in the morning, doing your shopping at this time, going to work at that time, going to the gym. Um, it's funny because sixth house has to do with routines and your health. And um, Taurus can be a bit self-indulgent at the same time. So, you know, it's like to find the balance in eating the best food, food possible and also um, taking care of your health, taking care of yourself. Um, some of you might buy or receive a new pet, right? Sixth house is also pets. And, you know, this is also part of a routine because if you think about it, if you buy a dog, you have to really change your routines to... You know, you have to walk it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. So you have someone else to take care of. So it's about taking responsibility and finding your stability in your routines. Uh, it could also be that you're finding uh, a new job or you're changing jobs. Um, and you're going to find you will have more money and you will feel more valued or you're going to have more self-worth, which in return gives you more value from other people. Because very often we think that, you know, we want to be valued more, but in a way we need to also value ourselves because a lot of times people reflect how we feel from the inside, right? Um, so it's about you feeling comfortable in your routines, in your work, uh, with your co-workers so this is also the time to do like a checkup for your health how are you doing uh, you know going to the dentist uh, going for a doctor checkup is everything okay <laughs> and also um, be careful with uh, I'm going to the gym now so I can eat much much more okay so it's about, about finding balance between these two so this is my message for you, Sagittarius. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> uh, leave a comment below. And yeah, sorry for my cough. I'm, I'm having a little bit of a cold. We went in a change in temperature here in Spain. We went from 28 to 19 degrees. So it's like this sudden drop. And it's like my throat and my head is a little bit full but it's okay i still want to make videos because i'm super excited about my new camera yay <laughs> so yeah this is my message for you sagittarius i really appreciate you and i hope to see you soon let's move on to the next sign capricorn so capricorn for you the nord note is in your fifth house this has to do with your self-expression your spare time this has to do about you uh, finding your creative and artistic expression okay and with the 11th house it means you know with Scorpio there you are quite suspicious of your friends sometimes it's like do I trust this person hmm you just feel more stable when you are by yourself creating the things that you love to do so you probably have only a few friends 
that you really want to have like deep conversations with you know you want to have people that have something to bring to the table so you might have a lot of uh, friends that do healing or that are really like you know triggering you sometimes but at the same time they will push you towards more success and this is what you like capricorn um but definitely you're going to be very creative with the north node there you're almost going to be pushed uh, towards that you know maybe some of your friends say like hey try this new uh art thingy right or try to edit this or do that or this cooking class um or try to do cooking because it's more about being by yourself right it's like hey i know how to be in this group situation where i'm sharing but fifth house is more about you as a person and how you feel with your own self-expression and where you are at so you know you're gonna uh, maybe some of you will start dating and you know feeling really good wanted to go for dinners, uh, trying dating apps. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna feel like you wanna spend time with good quality wine, with the people you really like. You really wanna be in this romantic situation where you can just express yourself naturally, but also have fun. Because fifth house is ruled by Leo. It's also about having fun, being creative, and also it's about having children so some of you are ready to have some children and to learn from them or if you already have them like i said you want to spend more time with them learn from them create with them and it's going to be a really really beautiful time i like the north node in the fifth house for you so yeah that's my message for you capricorn if you like this video subscribe leave a comment uh, <laughs> and i really really hope to see you soon again and don't forget i also do private readings so find my email in the description box below see you soon bye bye hello aquarius so where do we have the north node for you it's in your fourth house okay so a lot of you are looking for your ultimate stable place. So you want to have a place that you can call home. Um, maybe you're investing into property. So it could also be that you're starting a business where you want to invest in property and rent it to other people. You want to invest in a property for yourself. Uh, the sound notes in the 10th house. So maybe you already, um, saved some money in your job or maybe you are in the job that you already want and you're like okay my focus on my job i can leave for a moment um but at home or maybe the job is super messy with scorpio there it's like <clears throat> it's super messy i want to be when i'm at home i want to feel good i want to feel luxurious i want to have you know a lot of you aquarius want to have a really amazing place you know soft cushions uh you want to have the luxury that you are you want to have a great house right you want to feel at home you want to have a great house you want to feel comfortable um so this is one of the main subjects that will come up uh in the upcoming two years so um yeah maybe you want to redecorate maybe you want to buy some new furniture that's really suiting for your house um yeah anything that makes you feel more comfortable it could also be that with your family you're gonna have more peace maybe you understand better where they came from maybe they were very stressed in their job and you know they couldn't give you all the the attention that you wished they would have given you so now you understand a bit better what it means to be stressed in the workplace or what it means to be uh, to have this real, really high intensity job and you're like, Oof, now I just want to be lazy at home. I don't want to do too much, right? Uh, fourth house is also about uh, exploration, uh, about ancestral lines. So uh, there's a big part that you can do forgiveness for your ancestors. So you will feel more stable within your own skin. Um, yeah so this is what i have for you aquarius if this is resonating with you 
um, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and uh, thank you so much, Aquarius. I really appreciate you. Let's move, move on to the next sign, Pisces. <clears throat> I hope my voice is lasting. I'm having a bit of a cold Pisces, <laughs> but I really wanted to do this video. Um, and for you, we have the North Node in Taurus in your third house. And the third house is all about communication. You have the ninth house, South Node in Scorpio. So naturally you're very a type of investigator. You want to investigate, you want to know more about what's out there, right? And the third house is more about everything factual. So you're also very good at um, finding stability in uh, research. So you're a really good researcher. You can do good, great research and write about it, for example. Um, third house is also siblings, right? So it's like creating a stable relationship with your siblings, um, sending them love, letting them know you're thinking about them, letting them know that you, you know, communicating with them. You're going to find new ways of communication. So some of you will start a website, maybe with information, you know, that you have Maybe about your life or like lifetime experiences that you want to share with the world. Uh, third house is more about factual information. You might start a new course, right? Uh, you Maybe some of you want to be health coaches um, or like everything, you know, Taurus is really about health, uh, but more in a, how do I say it? Fine quality. So it's more about nutritional coach with the nicest food you know becoming a vegan health specialist with the best food because Taurus wants quality so you would learn things like that right so you're really into uh, high quality communication as well and you're really precise when it comes to writing emails in your job communicating with your colleagues right you want everything to be very clear and stable and calm so this is what you're going to focus on the upcoming times and um, also the third house is short trips <clears throat> so it would be really good for you to go into nature to go in the forest to recharge this is where you're getting a lot of new ideas and this is maybe where you will start writing things down that you're really um that you really want to do and also there could be that a lot of the your income will revolve around communication in your job so you might have a job that really has to do with communicating uh, maybe counseling um, and you're working on your words and how to bring them forward right uh so yeah and maybe you're gonna make more nature walks you're gonna take care of yourself better when it comes to your mental health as well you want to have a stable mind not overthinking too much too often because this is stopping you from achieving the goals that you really want to achieve okay so this is what i have for you pisces i hope you like this video and you know if you do subscribe to my channel i'm making many more videos about astrology about spirituality so yeah if you like my channel let me know and also um write an email to my email address that you find in the description box below for a private session okay sorry guys i'm having a bit of a brain freeze <laughs> i think that my throat wants a little bit of a rest um that's what happens when you have this sudden temperature drops right it went like nine degrees down in like a, a second um but i'm really really happy to explain to you the notes and i wish you a lovely lovely day bye bye